Uh, yeah, teacher Belinda. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let me introduce. Uh, yeah, let me introduce uh, teacher Belinda. Just a brief uh, bio data. Okay, so teacher Belinda, she is from Kampong Serantau. Okay, and she is Bidayu. Okay, so if you want, or if you, if you want to know more about Bidayu group, yeah, please feel free to ask. Okay, and she has been she has become the teacher for the past ten years, teaching the remediate class. Okay, especially focus on mathematics and Malay language. Okay, so yeah, Siko Belinda, I'm going to hand over the floor to you. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, hi everybody. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Belinda Adam. Uh, I'm teaching at uh, St. Francis, eh, no, St. James Squab uh, Primary School, uh, which is uh, a mission school located at uh, Kuap village. Uh, it's about 16 kilometers from uh, Kuching City. Uh, actually, uh, St. James uh, Kuap School is one of the, uh, of the oldest school, uh, which over 100 years already. Okay, uh, we have uh, 20 staff in our school and about 201 students. Uh, preschool to year six. Okay, uh, that is a little bit about uh, our school. Huh? Okay. Uh, okay, so she she going to share with you the. Yeah, the screenshot. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay, wait. Uh. Okay, uh, this is a little bit photo about our school, uh, the students uh, and my class. Uh, I have a... Okay, uh, I have 16 students uh, for my mathematics classes and 23 23 students uh, for my Bahasa Melayu classes or Malay language, uh, which uh, the students are still uh, for mathematics, uh, some of them, uh, the issue that I have uh, with my student here is uh, some of them, uh, they still cannot count the, object, uh, the, ob the objects more than tens. The, uh, for example, uh, if we if I give objects or pictures with the objects and ask them to count, uh, they can count 1 until 10, 11, 12, 13, and 15. But then after number 15, uh, some of them forgot what number after 15. And some of them uh, don't know, still uh, don't know number 20 and above. Uh, this, uh, I can say that uh, they cannot determine values of numbers over 10. Okay. Okay. That is an uh, issue about maths. Uh, another issue that I have uh, with uh, my mathematics at all, uh, or maths uh, class is uh, they some of them uh, because they cannot uh, read uh, so uh, they cannot write the numbers in words especially a uh, number after 10 that's mean 20 20 and above okay uh, besides that uh, my students also uh, cannot complete 
number sequence. This is uh, the main problem that I uh, always face. Uh, if I give or teach them as number sequence, especially count in twos, five, four, or tens in ascending and descending order. Uh, okay. The problem that I uh, facing also is uh, the they cannot uh, complete the meta mathematical sentence for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. They still cannot recognize the concept uh, of this operation, especially uh, especially uh, multiplication and division, uh, they confuse uh, these two operation. Uh, of course, if they uh, because they uh, still uh, cannot master the concept of this operation, uh, they also cannot solve uh, daily problems involving this uh, four operation, especially multiplication and division. Okay, uh, this is a big, uh, uh, basically issue that I um, face uh, with my student uh, for mathematics, uh, for maths classes. Okay, for BMs, uh, sorry, BMs, Malay language classes, uh, uh, most of my students, they still cannot read and write uh, words and sentence which uh, in uh, Malay language or in our context is tuku kata terbuka. Uh, for example, uh, in English, you re uh, read in Basta, uh, in Malay language is uh, baca, uh, B A C A, uh, the four uh, alphabet and uh, two syllables that uh, they still cannot read. Uh, because of that, uh, they cannot uh, read the other uh, words or sentence that is uh, uh, more than this suku kata. Okay, uh, that's all uh, the, the issue that I uh, face with my student like actually and in my class, in my remedial class. Okay, so yeah. yeah. Uh, Thank you, yeah. Thank you uh, Belinda. It's very nice yeah. uh, that you explain that. And maybe the students that have the educational group, they can maybe contact you also um, uh, in the coming days to, uh, to chat with you about uh, the, yeah, what they propose. Maybe they will propose an educational game for the children uh, so that they can uh, yeah, improve their uh, skills in, in maybe in math or in uh, reading. Okay. Would be great. There may be questions uh, now. Uh, I see one in the chat okay. from uh, Maria Bove. Yeah, Maria asks, the, do the students know how to use a smartphone and do they have a smartphone, Belinda? Uh, what I can see, uh, the students uh, know how to use the smartphone. Of course, uh, nowadays, uh, all the students with a smartphone, but uh, the students don't have their own smartphone. Uh, basically, they uh, use their parents' uh, smart, uh, smartphone, actually. And um, I think internet line also uh, not problem, like, actually, but maybe uh, sometime the internet reception uh, not clear. La. So about the smartphone is, uh, I think, no problem for them because uh, during this MCO, so uh, I communicate with the student with a smart smartphone, actually. Okay. Okay. So you're give, giving online lessons to them sometimes. Yeah. Uh, using WhatsApp, actually, or using WhatsApp. Uh, actually, I do the video and then I send to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you. That's. Uh, Good to know that. So, uh, so yeah, Anna, uh, can, can I, actually, uh, teacher Brenda, she have prepared a short video. 
yeah, on the school. Yeah, so can, can I play it now? Just a three minutes? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, sure. Okay. But it is possible. Um, I, I have I to. Think... You can. Um, can I play the video here? Advanced sharing options. Um, can you see it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, let me try. It. Thank you, Mr. Chia, for sharing the video. Actually, I want to share, but I, I cannot no, share it. So I just yeah, no, uh, share yeah. the photo, actually. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for your effort. Yeah. OK. OK, so do you want the student to ask question, or I continue with the second presentation? Um, oh, yeah, there's one, one question, question, right? Yeah. Yeah, regarding the internet, can they have access most of the time during the day that is the question by nicolas uh yes but of course uh, the parents uh during uh days uh the parents go to work the parents only have their times uh, maybe evening or after 5 p.m like that so uh the daytime is um uh, maybe uh the student cannot uh Look at the smartphone lah. Maybe after the parents come back from work, uh, yes, I think no problem actually. Okay, thanks. Uh, hello. Yeah, I have a question for teacher Belinda. Uh, regarding the students, I want to ask: Would you can you tell us like their likes? Maybe they like playing games, sports, or when you give them practical stuff. They like playing with stops or instead of just listening. So maybe for those group handling this, we can look at the approach, the teaching approach also. For because of issue of retention, they have problem with uh, retaining uh, information passed down by the teacher. So maybe if we if we look at if we don't only look at the technological aspect, we look at the teaching approach, so that the group handling this can include that in the solution they are coming up with. So if you can tell us these few things like what they like, the attribute of these students, what they like or what they like doing in the class. They like images, sound, or uh, you can tell us more about that. OK, uh, thank you. Uh, yes, uh, in my classes, actually, uh, I use uh, game also, but uh, like puzzle. Uh, which uh, uh, the picture, uh, for example, picture of objects uh, and the number. Uh, they count the object and they match with the number. Um, of course, my student uh, like to do, uh, uh, not to do, uh, like uh, games, more in uh, kinesthetic uh things uh beside uh visual and audio i uh, i always uh combine these three things visual audio and kinesthetics uh because uh some of the students uh they are very they are active and they just cannot uh look at us to teach but they also want to do it um, okay. So. Okay. Thanks. There's another question by Gideon, and he asks: Is this a special case for only your students? 
because they have some difficulty in, in learning? Or is it, um, uh, are there more pupils um, of the same age category that have the same challenges in reading and counting? Uh, one or two of my, uh, one or three, uh, one, I think two or three of my students is, uh, I, I cannot say that uh, there are disability uh, in learning, uh, but I already uh, sent them for uh, treatment. Uh, they are, I can say that this student is uh, very slow to catch up uh, what we teach. So, uh, of course, in their uh, classes uh, with the subject teacher, they cannot uh, catch up because uh, the subject is uh, maybe uh, is too hard to them. So, uh, this student, we need to uh, teach them uh, with basic uh, because some of them is uh, even though um, primary, uh, no, year, year three, uh, nine years old, okay, nine years old, some of them are still confused with the alphabet, okay, for BM. And then same as uh, mathematics, uh, they also uh, sometimes confuse with the numbers, especially counting the objects. Lah. After 10, uh, they forgot what is the, after 15 or 16, uh, they forgot what is the number after 15 or 16. Okay. Okay, okay thank you. Yeah, I think that the students will uh, have more would have more questions to you, but maybe we can continue now because otherwise we run out of time and maybe uh, uh, they can contact you also uh, another day tomorrow, for example, uh, if you have time. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, that would be great. Uh, so yeah. that the group that works on education can work. And maybe we can now continue.